Hello YouTube. Hey, uh, I'm here with a Noodlers Conrad that uh, I had a little issue with. Um, I, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that uh, I had some problems with uh, the piston unit coming out and dumping ink everywhere. So what happened was that this blind cap got stuck and it got stuck to the threads of this piston unit and when I tried to take it off I pulled out the whole piston unit <laughs> uh, you know oh well, well. Um, so I'm going to take this pen apart to give it a good clean and add some silicone grease so let's get right into it First of all, there is a little bit of ink in here. There's not much, but you can see this is the piston unit right here, right about here. And there's some ink right behind it. I don't know if it shows up, but you can kind of see it. And so we're going to have to take that all apart. And then I don't think there's too much ink left in here. And there's some, but not too bad and I actually have this I don't have a noodler's nib in this it's a uh, Jovo nib on here that I just put it, it works um, no flex obviously but uh, it works pretty good this way and I don't use it for flex writing anyway so let's go ahead I have a cup of water over here just in case I need to dip this thing in here. Let's see here. We're going to pull this out. I'm operating the piston. There we go. I just felt it give way. Just keep on unscrewing that. And I'm getting ink on myself, which I don't like. I forgot that there was still a little bit in there. Okay, there we go, and it's out, and there we go, we'll just drop this in the water, let's pull this nib, there we go, came loose, drop this in there, and separate the nib. This is Organic Studios, uh, or Organic Studio Copper. And let's just drop that in there, drop that in there. I'm usually not this messy. This is the most ink I've ever had on my hands, I think. And I'm gonna go take this to the sink and wash it out. You can see everything, all the parts are in there. I'm just gonna rinse everything off really good. Uh, with some warm water, not not hot, uh, that ebonite feed will discolor. And I believe this vegetal resin also discolors in hot water, but just some warm water. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back and we have the Conrad fully taken apart. You have your barrel here. Um, I'm not sure what happened to mine, but basically, uh, right after I got it um, it discolored immediately I mean it was I don't know if maybe it was the ink I was using or I, I have no idea but this top area yellowed up on me along with the blind cap so I don't know if maybe it was the silicone grease that was in there or what and you can see the ink kind of left a stain back here I, I tried to use a paper towel to clean it out just kind of stuff this in there and twirl it around but I can't do much with it but uh, the uh, I'm okay with that so I just dried it out uh, there's a the cap I didn't do much with that um, blind cap again Here's the nib. I see a little bit of staining still on this. So I'm just gonna wipe it down with this paper towel. Didn't completely come off, but it's better than what it was. So there we go. 
Uh, we have the piston unit, which is in two pieces here. The this this part here unscrews. This is where you have the silicone seal on the piston, and then this just simply goes into it. It's keyed. There's a little. There we go. It just dropped in. And then you just screw it in, and it comes. There we go. It's uh, attached again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little silicone grease on this end right here. And I'll probably put some on the threads here just to make sure that's a, a, a second barrier there in case ink gets past the piston. Uh, it won't get past the uh, threads there. And we have our feed here, our ebonite feed, looking pretty clean. Typical uh, noodler's ebonite feed. And so let me pull out my silicone grease. I just have a, a small little tub here. You can get them at Anderson Pins, I believe, is where I got that. It's been a while. One little tub. This is all you need. And I've had this for literally years. And we'll get some, some uh, cotton swabs. Here we go. Let's open this up. Try not to get silicone grease on your cloth here, because uh, if you go to wipe down other pen parts, you might cross contaminate, and that can be an issue. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit. That should be more than enough for this. And just twirl this around here. There we go, and then I'll put some on the threads. And for this stuff, you don't need a lot. It's just just enough so you cover the threads. You don't want to gob it on there because that, that's entirely too much. It's not like this is under any type of high pressure or anything like that. So there we go. We'll pop this back into the barrel. Turn that, screw that in. There we go. Give it a snug. And then we'll operate the piston a few times to get that silicone grease uh, spread in the barrel. Run it a few times. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get our nib and feed. Make sure it's aligned. Make sure you're straight. And I like to align the wings or I don't know what these are called the the uh, oops, get you in camera here I like to align this part of the feed with the wings on the nib so that it's about right where I want it I don't remember if this is keyed or not I don't think so it doesn't look like it let me look at it off camera here yeah it, it's not keyed so you can just slide that right in. And the way this sits in the pen is just slightly inset a bit. That should be it. And let's put the uh, blind cap back on. And eh, let me use a different cotton swab to just kind of clean this out, get a little bit of water here there we go it's going to get some more ink spots anyway so i'm not being too too careful just want to get the excess off there we go there it is and okay pen is ready for inking and let's do that. Okay, we're back. And I really like how uh, this Organics Studio Copper looks in this pen. It just tends to match that, uh, the color of the pen really good. So I'm going to re-ink it with that. Hopefully we won't run into the same thing and dump all the ink. Again, I'll be a little bit more careful if I need to prime the nib. Um, and let's see if I can get you in. 
There we go. Oops, let's do this. And that's a pretty good fill right there. I'm happy with that. Let's just get this excess off. And then I'm going to just slightly push out some ink. I don't think I really need to, but just for safe measure. It'll get the flow going. Okay, let's take cap this off. We don't want the sink all over the place. And I, mean, I forgot paper. Let me wipe this down here. Here's something I don't like about the ink. I can't, I can never seem to get the, the nib completely clean uh, with this ink. It's, no matter what I do, no matter how I wipe, it, it just does not come clean. That's about the best we're going to get it. So let me just make sure the barrel threads don't have anything on it. There we go. You can kind of see some sheen from that ink there. Let's put the blind cap on. Let's cap this up a little bit. And then I'll be right back with a notebook so we can test it out. And we're back with a notebook. This is a, uh, I forgot what kind of notebook this is. It's on the back here. Uh, G GLP Creations, the author. That's uh, filled with Tomo River paper. Kind of nice notebook. My daughter gave me this for, I believe it was my birthday. And very nice Tomo River paper. Uh, it's the white, not the cream colored. And, and they're numbered pages. I don't know if you can see that. They're numbered pages. So let's just do a quick test here. Make sure we're not gonna blob ink everywhere. Okay, that is just like I like it, and um, looks a little lighter here, but it, this ink does change a little bit when it finally dries on the page, so uh, it'll probably look a little bit more this and more like this, and it'll it does definitely have some red sheen in there, which I like also, and you can kind of see it here on the barrel. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, all the red sheening uh, that's there. Definitely see it on the feed. And one of my favorite inks. But hopefully I don't mess this up again and pull that piston out and dump all, all my ink. Uh, so I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And thanks again.